Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect Nigerian smoky party jollof rice. It's not the jollof rice that went to private school. I'm talking about the one that mama put sells. The one that has crossed the borders of Nigeria. Yes! And I'll be sharing three major tips on how to achieve it. So stick around, do subscribe and hit the like button. Now let's get right into this jollof rice business. To achieve that smoky patty flavor, we're going to roast or grill our tomatoes and pepper. Now on a baking tray, I have with me three pieces of chili pepper, also known as shombo, three pieces of real bell pepper, also known as tatashe, six pieces of habanero pepper. I use habanero pepper because this one is quite hot, I mean very very hot. I have some garlic with me and I have some onions. Now I'm going to cut these tomatoes in halves. To roast my tomatoes and peppers, I'm going to use my air fryer. Now you can choose to use your oven, but for this method, this recipe, I have chosen to use my air fryer. Now all the tomatoes and pepper and garlic that I have chopped up, I'm going to add it into this my air fryer um, bowl. I'm going to pour some cooking oil on it and air fry it or roast it or grill it for like you know maybe 30 minutes depending on how fast or how hot your oven or air fryer is for the proteins i'm going to be using some beef and turkey now beef has one of the best stock if you ask me so i started to use both at the same time to give it that oh perfect stock for the seasonings i'm gonna add some thyme I'm gonna add some curry. I'm gonna go in with some seasoning, onions, some salt, and some bay leaf. On low heat, I'm gonna steam this protein. Now, I'm not gonna add water because this turkey and beef has its own juice. So I'm gonna let it just cook itself in its own juice. This is what makes turkey and beef very, very sweet. So you're just gonna leave it for like, say five to 10 minutes on low heat, just 10 minutes. And when we open it, this is what it looks like. Can you see those juice? Yes, that is it. That's the juice from the beef and the turkey. At this point, I'm gonna add some water, just a little bit of water to, you know, cook the protein and make it very, very soft and edible so that the bone can be very soft. So that when you crack the bone, when you are chewing the bone, ah, don't worry, we're getting there, we're getting there. So let it just cook. Now our tomatoes and pepper uh, is ready. It's been roasted very, very well, very nicely. So I'm gonna add all this into my blender. I'm not gonna be blending my tomato and pepper mix with water because it's already very soft. Now for my garlic, I'm just going to squeeze everything into my blender and note that it's very very hot that is why i'm like you know shaking it's literally hot because i just put it out of the air fryer so i'm just gonna squeeze everything in and this is what it's looking like at the end of the day now i'm just gonna cover this up and blend now this is what it's looking like to me this is the perfect consistency as you can see i'm um, using a spoon you guys can really see the texture it's not too thick it's not too watery so it's really really perfect for our jello fries now let's check in on our turkey and beef now you can see how soft it looks even through this video so now that the turkey is ready i'm just going to take it out meat do take longer to you know get soft so i'm just going to take the turkey out and leave the beef to you know keep boiling to make it very very soft yes i did add some habanero pepper to give it more taste and hotness so that i can also you know eat the beef and turkey and without the jello fries and it still tastes great 
The second tip on how to achieve that smokiness in that your pot jello fries is the choice of pot. Non-stick pot has no business with jello fries. This pot that our great grandmothers have used, yes, that our mothers still use. <laughs> My dear, this is the pot that gives it that taste. Now I'm just gonna add some cooking oil and add some onions. Gonna go in with some garlic, some thyme, and some curry. We're trying to build flavor. I'm gonna add some Maggi. There is no, oh, this is how to do it. No, this is the way that I do it. This is what gives that smokiness. So in this flavor of oil, I'm gonna add my turkey and beef at the same time. I'm not gonna fry the beef separate and the turkey separate. No, I'm frying it together so that they can mix the flavor it needs to get that by themselves do you see how brown brownish lights that this turkey is it's not burnt it's not hard it's not strong it's the perfect texture so that when you just bite your teeth will just sink into well, anyway, so this is the remnant of what we used to fry our turkey. We have some onions. Now you can choose to blend this in your tomato puree, but I have already blended my, so I do not need this. So I'm going to discard it. Now this oil is going to be needed in our jello fries. Once again, my very old aluminium pot that my mom gave me. This pot has lasted. I've had this pot for like six years and it's still going on strong anyways this is what we're going to be using throw away that non-stick pot i've told you now i'm going to sieve my um oil that's the one that i used to fry my turkey and beef i'm going to sieve it into this pot so that i can start making the smoky party jello fries if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for subscribe now hit that like button okay now i'm going to add some onions into this um, oil the aroma coming from my kitchen is so amazing at this point i'm gonna add some garlic and ginger that i have grated i'm adding my tomato paste my sachet tomato paste i don't use the thin tomato paste because it gives this kind of um iron ish you know taste of which i do not like so that is why i use the sachet uh, please check the description box for all the um, ingredients that i use the names of the brands and you know stuff like that now i'm going in with my lovely looking tomato puree the one that we were setting our air fryer uh, later on you know you can add water into this blender and use it in this cooking process so i'm just going to stir this up nicely and let it fry very very well not half done or half cooked no very very well so i'm going to add some thyme some curry i'm going to go in with some rosemary i'm going to go in with some other spices at this point i'm going to add some maggi and um, bay leaf and stir at this point guys it's going to start splashing all over the place and it's very very hot so you're just going to cover this and let it just fry let it do its magic like i already said my pot is is very old so forgive how it's looking i'll probably change later on or not anywho um keep staring and staring despite the whole splashes keep staring so that it doesn't get burnt at this point i'm adding my um garlic and ginger because i'm not satisfied with how you know it came out so i'm adding it ginger and garlic guys don't miss it it's a very great ingredient when making party jello fries so just keep stirring and stirring till it's well cooked now our tomatoes uh is well fried you can see that the oil is above the tomatoes it's well done now we're gonna go in with our rice i'm choosing to use um basmati rice please check the description box for the type of basmati rice that i used um i already soaked this uh, basmati rice in hot water first of all i washed it then i soaked it in hot water to remove all the starch and everything so just keep turning turning and turning the rice so that everything can get mixed don't be scared that it's gonna get burnt yes we also need the rice to get a little bit burnt okay have you subscribed to my channel 
you better subscribe to my channel okay hit that subscribe button right now anywho we're gonna go in with our uh, beef and turkey broth i also saved this okay i saved this now i'm gonna go in with some foil to cover it so that this can cook nicely in low heat guys do not forget low heat low heat don't be in a hurry okay low heat does the trick especially with um basmati rice it doesn't take too long to cook now you can see how our jello fries is looking after some minutes uh there was no light but you can see how rich the color of the rice is check it out now it's so red so yummy so lovely looking but we're not done it's not yet done so i'm just going to you know turn this um fries i'm going to turn it from from the bottom to the top uh, so that everything can also mix up nicely now i'm gonna add some tomatoes onions and a little bit of ginger for some extra flavor cover it up with some foil and just let it steam now for our third tip for the smokiness is charcoal did you guess it no now we're gonna burn this charcoal <laughs> whether it's in fire would do but we're using charcoal you're just gonna burn this charcoal a little bit to give it that smoky flavor and i'm gonna show you how you're going to do it just keep watching and subscribe okay don't forget to subscribe few minutes later and this is what our jello fries is looking like now i'm just gonna create um, a small hole in the middle of the pot i'm gonna add a clean foil in the middle yes it's clean you can choose to use uh, parchment paper but this is what i'm using foil so i'm just gonna add the charcoal the burnt charcoal in it to release that smoky flavor this is not harmful okay because you do eat barbecue chicken right uh, so this is very very safe and it was well done in a neat environment now our jello fries is ready can you see how well done it is this is not half cooked this is not soggy this is perfect it is burnt it smells smoky it just looks divine this jello fries is rich and it's so tasty ah well if you want to have a taste hit me up in the comment section <laughs> okay anyway this is what it's looking like and now it's time to eat i really do hope you guys enjoyed this recipe on how to make the perfect smoky nigerian party jollof rice if you did enjoy this video please do subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>